Off season doesn't really exist for sun dancers. <laughs> they get about a month, maybe if they're lucky, or a little bit more. Um, we have tryouts at the end of April. So if you all will grab your things and actually go around to the other side of the curtain, we will be calling you um, in numeric order. Good luck. We like our girls to be great representatives of the university. They're in front of a lot of people, so we like to make sure um, that they are well spoken, that they look good, um, that they are aware of what they're saying, who they're speaking to. Um, as far as dance skills, we look for basic skills that you would look for in a collegiate dancer, turns, jumps, um, ability to learn quickly. Clapping one, two, three, four, go five, six, seven, eight. Um, we let them finish up with school and then summer practices usually start. We attend a camp in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, NDA summer camp. So we prepare for that all summer, which kind of gets us going for band camp with band, where we basically um, practice from morning to night with the band, um, preparing our sidelines for football, preparing halftime with the band, making sure everybody is comfortable with being out on the field and the different things that we do between pregame sidelines and halftime. Football season is a little bit different. We usually will start around 3.15 to 3.30, sometimes 4 if it's a little bit late. We start with the workout, we stretch, and then we work on choreography, um, or we work with the band, and that's basically out on the horseshoe with the full band um, in our spots, trying to learn our drill. <laughs> Which position are we? Are we in line with the rest of the band? So, I mean, that's a pretty much typical day for football season. Basketball season, in the spring semester, we transition to morning practices. So the girls are usually up by 5.30, we're at practice by 6. We start with the workout and then we have practice after that. Um, and then usually in the evenings we have basketball games between women and men, it gets a little bit more busy. It hasn't been very common for this team to compete um, at a national competition, so that's something that's fairly new. We have done it a few times in the past, but uh, that's something that I want to start carrying on every single year. I want the girls to, co to compete. Uh, with the seniors that we have this year and with the new talent that we had at tryouts, I think this team has a very good shot of, of improving and going very far. Um, we compete, it's very competitive to compete in dance. I mean, there's so many dance teams across the nation. So, and depending on uh, which competition you go to, it can be very difficult. But like I said, my hope is that we can gain more experience each year that we go um, and that we can place uh, top 10, top five, you know, progressively get better. And with the more girls that we have returning every year, the better we get because the more experience we have. Sundancers!